I'm back. I'm going to read another one. I figured out what it is. I haven't read these for such a long time. And reading them to, to myself is great, but reading them to other people, even if it's just one or two, that, that's, that's even better for me. It makes me, It's like a release. Because I haven't, I haven't read these poems for quite a while. Um, in fact, I haven't written for quite a while. Uh, I've lost my notebook. My newest notebook, I lost it. I think I've left it in storage somewhere, or I lost it when I moved out of my dorm room last semester. I don't know. But it's somewhere lost in the ethereal world, along with all the poems and the songs and the drawings. And it's quite sad. But I do still have these ones that I have electronically saved, posted on Facebook. The craziness. So this one's called Metathesiophobia, and uh, if you don't know, Metathesiophobia is the fear of change. So, this is actually, this is one of my favorites. This, this really, this poem itself broke me into a new form of writing. Um, whereas before, everything was, you know, things were, they're, they're kind of simple and simplistic and basic and, uh, this metathesiophobia broke me into a really, it really expanded my mind. I, I pulled things from within me that I didn't otherwise know existed until I wrote this. And then from there, I just flourished when it came to writing and just everything. So this is, uh, this metathesiophobia, again, it's The Fear of Change by Devin Rosenblatt. My mind reels in horror of my once sanguine heart. It's careen out of light, it's submersion into an umbra darkened only by shadows, shades dancing on the waves of the Acheron, yet without feeling, faintest pulse fading further. Further, 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 still it falls from my chest, my visceral vacant veritas, my obnoxiously opaque orations, my lies, the tapers slowly shrinking, steadily crumbling, cracking, crashing, tumbling tragedy. The curtain drops, flame extinguished, and the fields run red. Proserpines fall to those seeds of the dead, cowering and cringing, fearful of the change, frightened by the ill-defined trail, recalling a quote I once dreamt. The paths to heaven and hell are both paved in blood. Drowned in violent amaranthine deaths, which one shall I take, which direction to run? O oh, heart of mine gone so far, for what? Oh, for what now is it you eternally yearn to acquire? Absent-mindedness yields no fruit to the harvest, no crop to the reaper. Bare of destination, turned from the river Styx, bathed in the rampant lady. Oh, now how I curse and lament, beating at my chest, tearing at my scalp, shrieking harpy armed with cold scalding steel. Chasing away all warriors and knights abound on their quests, I fury onward in my garments emblazoned. With mysteries of ages of generations long gone, the cobbles here are worn down and splintered. And as sleep escapes the waking, the waking part weighs, until next they are joined in festivity and joy. For none can creep around that ethereal cave once chosen, and none are chosen born bereft of worth. Unbeknownst to the woken world, their mutability is fragile, much as fragile as is their drugged state of mind. Lotus-induced ecstasy floods the urn and overflows, gushing forth. Ambrosia only springs from stones for those most ageless beings, those Olympians of immaterial things. In the end, the rivers must be crossed, all tried and weighed. And no matter the judgment, the clarion song sweetly plays. And fortitude meets the course of time and withers away. And time's adamantine flight strikes true, always the same. And so our past is assured not to become today, and all is lost and defiance is wrought, struggles in vain, far from heroes of myth, not but deathly mundane, purgatory and earth are proved one and the same. Yep, so that was, uh, <laughs> that was my old poem, Metathesiophobia, uh, Fear of Change. You know, this is really fun. This is... You know, you get on here and you perform with your guitar and you sing some, sing some dainty songs on the Gitti. But you don't realize how fun it is to just get up and be on a web webcam and know that there are people listening to you. And so you just sit down and you just start talking. You don't even have to say anything. You don't even have to have a point. You can just 
throw words around and your body and your mind just feels released you guys so everyone should get on here and try it just just for the hell of it it's really fun um i've got a minute 30 left what can i say in a minute 30 i don't know i don't even know that poem itself actually it, it, within it, it holds a quote that I, I got tattooed, well it's part of a tattoo that I have on my back, it's uh, the paths to heaven and hell are both paved in blood, that's, I'd say that's one of the, my favorite lines from any poem I've ever written. Oh, we've got someone waiting, I'm holding someone up, I'm sorry, Emily Rose Galliard. Right, well I'm off of here, um, next time I'll probably play a song, currently I'm going to go eat some din. Smoke a stick. Roll a fatty. See you guys later.